Hey buddy, how you going? You alright? You're not camera shy, are you? Hey? Look, I've got nothing here though. No. Wanna get a pat? Wanna get a pat? No? You're pretty tame, aren't you, mate? Hey? No pats? Alright, no pats. You want some food though, don't you? Alright, we'll get you some food. Yeah, we got the food now, mate. You want some food? You want some? Here you go. There you go. Pick it up off the, off the table, mate. Clean the table up, that's it. And then come down here. We'll do it down here because it's a bit messy on the table. Come on, down here. Let's go. Dude, what are you doing? Come on. Come down here and get some. That's it. There you go. Nothing like a bit of dry cat food soaked in water over night, is there, eh? Oh, g'day boys and girls. What a cracking day, eh? Beautiful blue skies. It's a bit nippy though, but it's quite nice in the sun. Freezing in the house trying to get myself ready to get out on the bike, but uh, once you're out it's all good. Got the snoot on, I've got the bloody headscarf on, I've got bloody three layers on the top and two on the bottom. Well, three including bloody bike shorts. Some way down to Happy Herbs, Christie's Beach. Gonna go and pick up some canna powder, which is like this herb supplement that I've been using on and off. Really helps you to relax. It's good for uh, sleeping and kind of just if you're feeling a bit anxious about anything, you can just sort of put that in your coffee in the morning as well and sort of takes that jittery edge off the strong coffee if you like strong coffee. Yeah, and the bike got absolutely filthy last ride around Happy Valley and all that out on the gravel and the dirt so I'll probably just stick to the uh, sealed stuff today I think well I reckon I'll take the Yonker trail today not the Yonker, the Yonker or the Jonker, Patrick Jonker Patrick Yonker because uh, it's kind of a little more direct and Probably not quite as shady as that other one, so I don't really want too much shade today because it's a bit bloody chilly. As these almond blossoms are all popping out now, looking splendid. So here's the uh, setup, mate. Covered up on the head over the ears, covered up around the neck. This is my old motorcycling snood, or snood or whatever you want to call it. But uh, it's doing the job, man keeping me tasty and there's the hemorrhoid highway where everyone loves to lick each other's hemorrhoids and lick each other's toe balls what they see there yeah yeah there's a few around well I think we'll be right from here on in if we stick to the uh, 36 we shouldn't be too much mud around if, if anything really It's nice to get off the tarmac sometimes, you know. So I don't know what looks worse. Big blotches of paint like this that doesn't even match, or some little squiggles and sometimes colourful artwork. I think they're better off just kind of leaving the, the decent ones at least and painting over the shit ones. So what do you reckon about this old bunning site? I wonder what they're going to do with it. I reckon it should be turned into an indoor four-cross uh, with a jumps track and a pump track, a bit of a skate bowl, a bit of a stage there for bands to play, and uh, yeah, I reckon it would go off. So this is that canna stuff I was talking about. The Skeletium Tortuosum canna herb powder. It's pretty good. 20 bucks a pop for 10 grams. And that lasts a couple of months, I think. Beautiful port no longer. That water looks nice and blue. That's because we've got a nice blue sky though. 
of these grey stupid clouds and stupid wind for a change. Southport Surf Life Saving Club, 60 years, eh? There you go. Check out all the bloody rocks exposed at the moment on the beach. Mm. I don't know if I'll bother riding along there today. It's pretty bloody rough looking. Alrighty, -o. so now we can go straight ahead onto the uh, main south road white path. I'm surprised I haven't given it some kind of athlete name, you know, or I don't know. I don't really know a lot of uh, Australian winning athlete cyclists, but uh, surely you come up with someone. Maybe they will. Nice well, bit of downhill anyway. Still a bit of road work's going on. It's going over the new Peddler Creek Bridge. Oh yeah, it's all going on still. Prepared to stop, eh? Right, eh? Lots of bollards. All right, there you go. It's dismount. I don't think so, mate. Not unless we have to. What's called ain't closed ahead, is it? Well, where are you going to put us now? I thought it was open. I don't think it's closed. I think it's just a little bit of an access point, mate. What are you talking about, Willis? I don't know where they come up with these signs, man. What's called ain't closed? Hmm. Don't think so, mate. Interesting use of uh, cement. I guess it doesn't need as much maintenance as the bitumen. And there's no tree roots to worry about, so it's gonna last a lot longer, I'd say. The only other bike path that I've uh, seen in concrete has been the one up bloody uh, alongside the A-barn up in the northeast there. All right, well, let's use these lights and see how smart they are. I wonder if we'll get a, uh... oh yeah, there we go. Got the only to here, and then it's green all across there. That's a bit stupid, isn't it? Look at that. Well, how can he be going green there? That's just a, that's just a weird setup, man. You could have been giving me green all the way across. That is just dumb. Dumb lights. We don't have smart traffic systems here. I don't know why. It's not rocket science, man. Okay, so now we're on the bitumen again. Right, I must have run out of money. So eventually we're going to be able to ride all the way up to the Victory Hotel at Selix Hill. Once they do stage two, probably take another two or three years or whatever, but yeah, at least we're uh, off the road. It's amazing how many road cyclists still want to ride on roads, even though there's a perfectly good bike path. I've seen it in multiple places. But uh, you would think here, surely. I mean, it's a 100k road. 
there is a shoulder, but you know, that's not a bike lane. Surely they wouldn't be that silly. Got wood. Right, eh? Don't know what the name of this road is, but straight across, no worries. No signs, no street signs. Weird. Gotta love how the uh, the work people here need to wear hard hats. I guess you just never know when space junk's gonna fall out of the sky. Ready? And this is why I shouldn't reuse the bitumen because you get cracks in it like <laughs> as soon as it's open and they got to come around with that silly bloody black sealant and seal it all up it's obviously just going to degrade and if it's doing that already it's going to be like cactus within a bloody year I'd say or you know at least a couple of winters oh here we go another one of these dismount areas There we go, here's the old Dinga underpass. Bosco Lane closed, yeah right. Eh? So there's supposed to be this path going down Flower Mill Road or something like that. We might go and see if we can take that into a longer. I don't think it's finished though. Well that's kind of cool that it just takes you in here on this old road. I think this comes out where that little uh, Vietnamese place is. Yeah, very good. Well, that's a bloody, bloody good way of getting into Aldinga, isn't it? Been riding on all them bloody back roads with all that traffic whizzing past your shoulder. Well, that's more enjoyable. Right, yeah, so I think this is the way over to this flour mill road according to the maps So I've just been sitting over here at the OTR at Aldinga and uh, everyone's commenting on my jacket They're saying like is that whole jacket reflective like you just glow dude like what's going on and it's really weird because I can't see it Oh, you can see it a little bit when you get it in the light, but yeah, apparently I, I'm like full shiny, full glowing, which is great, because uh, that's why I got it. So it's like my David Bowie jacket, you know? So where do we go from here? We just go straight over. Oh, yeah. And then down that road over there by the looks. Right, eh? We'll do the right thing. See how long they take. All right, so I could have gone straight across then. So this is the thing with these smart system lights, you know, like if it was green over there when I pressed it, it should have been green here because the light was still red for turning right. Which meant, as a cyclist, it could have gone across, but yeah. I just haven't really worked that stuff out over here yet. All right, do we get to go now? Yes, we do. righty -o. Willunga. All right, so we're going to go back home by Willunga along the coast of Mines. Now this is uh, a bit of an old road and then I think eventually there's going to be like a path going down the side of Aldinga Road which takes you into Willunga. So, but I don't think it's done yet because uh, I got caught in some roadworks uh, about it probably two weeks ago. So, anywho, check out all the cacti. Nice. I think I'm going to have to get myself a bigger phone before I go away. 
128 gigabytes just doesn't cut it. I've got 90 gigs worth of bloody apps, and every time I take videos on these glasses, they just, uh, you know, they pile up. I've got to make sure I've got room. And I use Google Photos all the time to free up space as far as my gallery goes. So my gallery's fairly, um, you know, fairly fresh and emptied by the time I need to use it. But uh, yeah, there's not a lot of space left when you think about it. So might have to upgrade to one of those uh, 256 gigs or 512s. We'll see how we go, eh? And because Samsung, in their infinite wisdom, you know, they've uh, they stopped at a bloody, what's that, a black teddy bear, black panther. Right, eh? Jeez, I feel like I'm in Red Dead Redemption. Gonna, gonna be attacked by a bloody panther. Or a cougar. Well, yeah, bloody, uh, yeah, they've uh, done away with the um, SD card slot. You know, so it's their way of making you uh, upgrade to larger capacity phones, I guess. The bastard Koreans. Oh, okay. So... We've got a bit of a bike path separation on this road, which, I don't know, it doesn't look real busy. Maybe it didn't need it, but anyway, maybe it does get busy. Uh, and yeah, I think this obviously, I thought a dingo road's over there somewhere. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Have a look at the geese. Hey, geese are geese. Peacocks, chooks. Hey, buck buck. Pidgeys. I tell you what, it's bloody beautiful out in the sun. As long as you can uh, get into it, it's good. Even the shade, she's a bit nippy, but there you go. Some old ruins over there. Right, okay, so we go right here on Bayless. Takes us up to Old Inga Road, and then we'll go left, I guess. The old Windows XP desktop, almost. Righto, so we've got the longer sign there on the left, pointing down that road. And we've got this bicycle lane end. And it's oh yeah, it's telling us to go this way. It's a nice old joint, isn't it? Oh, check out that old ruin. It's like an old church or something. Hey, you back up. All right. Cool. Oh, it looks like they might have started on it. A bit of a path entry here. All right, then, well, here we go. Looks like we've got a bit of the path going on. Ah, separated. Got a nice bit of concrete curbing. Oh, it looks like it goes for a bit, for a bit of a way there. Alright, it's all good. Probably a little almond blossoms going along here. I think they just had the almond blossom festival here last weekend. So it's a kind of weird intersection. They've got a stop sign there with the stop line there. If you were to put it back there, then cyclists could have just gone straight over without any worries. And then they can just pull out and carry on and do what they got to do, but I don't know. I don't make the rules, I don't design the roads. Oh wow, they've got a full almond orchard here. Look at that. Rows and rows. So I think we're on some pretty fresh path now. Looks nice and dark and there is no line markings on it. And we've got the bollards up here, so we're probably going to run out, I think. Yeah, I can even see a uh, traffic signal up there for roadworks. That'll be to do with this. Alrighty, so it looks like we're out of path here. No signs telling you to move over, but yeah. Oh, there we go. We've got some... Uh, Freshly uh, rolled road base, ready for the bitchy man. He's going to take us around the corner, is it? I don't know. A little bit of a chicane. And across the intersection here, yeah, right, eh? 
and then yeah same on this side all right jolly good oh now we've got ourselves a bike lane well there you go What's going on, Goosey? What's going on, mate? Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. I'm just chilling. So, yeah. Sort of have a bit of a stretch here in Serafino's. Oh, second ride in like three weeks, so I'm up to about 50 k's already, I think. What are we saying? Watch. 51.1, so, yeah. Just getting a bit of a stretch on, mate, doing the old calves. Yeah, tell you what, man, I'm loving this bike, eh? It's doing really well. I've got my 625 watt-hour battery in there now, so I can pretty much do decent rides now. And uh, this cassette's not too bad. It's probably not quite... Um, high enough in the highest gear I'm pedaling a bit too fast but anyway when that one shits itself or get one that's got a slightly smaller cog maybe a 11 tooth or something I think it's a 12 on there but uh, and I could go for a bigger one on the front too I guess but it does climb pretty well so it's not bad I might leave that part of it and what have we got we've got 72 k's range still three bars of battery so yeah Cracking day. Now yeah, where's your bloody grab rail going? There's yeah, bloody grab rails in here and you've removed them, you haven't put them back, you muppets. Some people need them. Two and under's been a gone, mate. Get your fucking act together. There's a bloody wire fence there. Careful of that. I think we're going into someone's property here. Yeah, I don't think we should be in here. Nope. That's a bit of a dead end, that one. This goes into somebody's yard. these cuttings though. They just feel, I don't know, lush. I think there is a trail that goes up there though. I've been along that one. Well, here we are. Got a full loop now. Back over, or back under the uh, main south road. Some artwork in here, eh? Another way, and sharks and tunas. And there we go, that's where I was just went before. All the way down there. 
Lovely tubbing. It's fine. Yeah, they fixed up some tree roots. Wow. Out plenty of time. Nice work. Well, boys and girls, we've just clicked over 80 k's on the bike. Watch says 79.2, down to two bars. 1248 k so far on this bike. Um, telling me I've got 10 k's range. And I've been riding turbo for probably about the last three or four k's, I guess. Give the legs a bit of a rest. Oh, it's nice when you get back into the sun, mate, I tell you. I'm gonna pour myself a nice hot bath with some uh, Epsom salts, put on some Netflix, maybe grab a beer or something. Oh, gotta love days off. Yeah, the old ass bones are getting a bit sore though. I can tell you, on the right foot, just a tad as well. Oh yeah, need a little entrance here, eh? Nice. Well, I didn't really push too hard today. I can't say I've got the heart rate up too much. I won't know until I check out the graph, but... Yeah. Pretty good mileage out of this bike. 